Riga is the capital and largest city of Latvia and is home to 6 lakh 71,000 inhabitants, which is a third of Latvia's population. The Latvia's capital is set on the Baltic Sea at the mouth of the river Daugava. It's considered a cultural center and is home to many museums and concert halls. The city is also known for its wooden buildings, Art Nouveau architecture, and medieval old town. The pedestrian-only old town has many shops and restaurants and is home to busy Livu Square, with bars and nightclubs. There's a youthful vitality to Riga that shines through in its thumping nightlife, trendy dining spots, and thriving alternative scene. Riga has an absorbing history to uncover as a medieval Hanseatic League member and a city that has lived under Swedish, Polish, Russian Empire, Soviet, and Nazi rule. The old center, Vikriga, is a UNESCO World Heritage Site with labyrinthine streets, medieval churches, and guild halls. And when Riga grew its medieval walls at the turn of the 20th century, there was a spectacular burst of creativity that left the city with more than 800 Art Nouveau buildings, more than any other city in the world. Plan your trip with our video of top tourist attractions and things to do in Riga. Before we get started, make sure you have subscribed our YouTube channel and click the bell icon so you don't miss our new upcoming videos. Number 1. Vekriga The old center of Riga on the right bank of the Daugava River is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. On these scurrying cobblestone streets and sociable squares are Riga's oldest houses and churches. Vekriga is stacked with restaurants, night spots, art galleries, and museums. At a cafe, you have to order the dessert named after Vekriga, made from chew pastry filled with curd and vanilla cream and dusted with icing sugar. Rosniella is such a narrow street that you can touch both sides as you walk, while the venerable Skarnu Street has an arts and crafts market where you can get a tasteful souvenir. The great and small guild halls hark back to when Riga was a thriving Hanseatic city, trading across the Baltic and Northwest Europe. Vekriga lost a third of its historic monuments in the Second World War but many were rebuilt after independence in 1990. Number 2. Art Nouveau Architecture Riga is an Art Nouveau wonderland, with more than 800 buildings, a third of the city's stock. Dating from the prime years of the movement at the start of the 20th century, this is the world's largest collection of Art Nouveau architecture, easy to identify for its curved doorways and windows, abundant floral reliefs, female sculptures, whimsical gargoyles, or romantic nationalist imagery. The reason for this proliferation of Art Nouveau is that Riga had a financial boom and needed fashionable homes for a growing bourgeoisie when the movement was flourishing. So most of these residences lie in the newer centers district, to the north and east of Vekriga. Beyond the former walls, we have a few examples on this list, but one of the masterpieces is at Tena and 10B on Elizabeth Street by Riga's Gotti, Mikhail Eisenstein. Number 3. Town Hall Square Standing on Riga's Town Hall Square and gazing at the Town Hall and House of the Blackheads, it's mind-boggling to think that these monuments are little more than 20 years old. The reconstruction is seamless, and the plaza is a grandeur fit for a capital. Sticking out like a sore thumb next to the House of the Blackheads is a dark and squat 1970s Soviet building that until recently contained the Occupation Museum. The Roland statue, depicting a mythological knight, is a signature of historic German towns, symbolizing the city's medieval privileges. Also keep your eyes peeled for a modest stone marker in the ground, recording the location for what is believed to be the world's first decorated Christmas tree, erected by the Brotherhood of Blackheads in 1510. Number 4. House of the Blackheads The piece de resistance on Town Hall Square is undoubtedly the magnificent House of the Blackheads, first built for an association of unmarried merchants and ship owners in the 1330s. This exuberantly adorned brick building was a nexus point for business and trade in Riga during the Hanseatic years. And as they were bachelors, the Blackheads were known for bringing life to Riga society, organizing parties and celebrations. The building was modified in the 16th and 19th centuries before being wrecked during a German bombing raid in 1941. The reconstruction didn't take place until after the Soviet period and was finished in 1999. You can go in from Tuesday to Sunday to learn about the Blackheads and the history of the building. The vaults in the basement are original and date from the 14th century, while the stupendous celebration hall and the collection of antique silver are must sees. Number 5. Freedom Monument East of Vekriga, this solemn landmark remembers the soldiers killed fighting Soviet forces during the Latvian War of Independence 1918. Standing 42 meters high, 
The Freedom Monument, 1935, is built from red granite and travertine and crested by a copper sculpture of Liberty holding three golden stars. This monument remains the centerpiece for official remembrance ceremonies in the city. If you approach the base, you will find 13 groups of reliefs recording national heroes, allegories, images from Latvian culture, and pivotal moments in the nation's history like the Russian Revolution of 1905 and the War of Independence. Number 6. Bastage Galna Parks The park around the Freedom Monument reaches across both sides of the Pilsidus Canals, which meanders along the course of Riga's old moat. Until 1856, this elevated area was the site of Riga's eastern fortifications, and its name translates to Bastion Hill. Over the course of the Ninton century, a dignified boulevard, gaslights, sculptures, formal flower beds, and a man made waterfall were laid out on the hill, while cute wrought iron bridges traversed the canal. The resplendent buildings neighboring the park, like the Latvian National Opera and University of Latvia, all add to the sense of ceremony. Watch the sun go down from the hill and amble beside the canal to see the ducks, swans, and beavers. Number 7. Riga Central Market Included in Riga's UNESCO World Heritage Site, the Riga Central Market is one of the largest and most visited markets in Eastern Europe. Up to 1 lakh shoppers enter its pavilions every day. The building is a wonder in its own right, constructed in the second half of the 1920s and repurposing German Zeppelin hangars into pavilions. These titanic buildings are right on the Dagava, just south of Vekriga, and each one has its own speciality, be it gastronomic specialities, fish, meat, dairy, vegetables. There are also stalls to browse outside, while the former warehouses' spikery have been turned into a trendy arts and entertainment zone. Some goodies that may take you out of your comfort zone are smoked eels. Rupchmaze's cardagem's a layered dessert made from rye bread and hemp paste. Number 8. Riga Cathedral, an enduring symbol for Riga. The Dome Cathedral is the seat of the Archbishop of the Evangelical Lutheran Church of Latvia. The building has been altered many times since it was first built by the right bank of the Dogava River at the start of the 13th century. Like all of the churches in Vekriga, the cathedral has a cockerel atop its spire, weighing 86 kilograms and functioning as a weather vane. There's an older version on show in the cathedral's delightful Romanesque cloister, one of the oldest parts of the building. In the 16th century, the dome pipe organ inside was the largest in the world, but was destroyed in a fire in 1547. The current instrument has a marvelous carved wooden case and was installed by the Walker Orgelbau Company at the start of the 1880 with 6,700 pipes. Number 9. St. Peter's Church The 123 tower of this Lutheran, St. Peter's Church was begun at the start of the 13th century, but had two more phases of construction in the 15th and 17th centuries, leaving it with a melange of architectural styles from Romanesque to Baroque. There isn't much remaining of the earliest building, but you can find traces in the outer nave and on a few of the pillars. Safe to say that the church's tower had a difficult past. The initial 15th century Gothic tower collapsed in 1660. Its replacement from 1690 was then brought down by lightning in 1721, and later the tower burned down in the Second World War to be renovated in the 1960s. During the last reconstruction, an elevator was installed, taking you up to the second gallery at a height of 72 meters for the best view of Vekriga. Number 10. Latvian National Opera House Best experience when the auditorium fills up for evening performances, the Latvian National Opera and Ballet is a neoclassical theater from 1863. The venue is older than the Latvian National Opera, which was founded as in situation in 1912 and had to wait until after the First World War to give its first performance, which was Wagner's Flying Dutchman in 1919. The resplendent interiors were produced by the studio of August Valls, who also designed the Roland statue and allegorical sculptures on the facade of the House of the Blackheads. Culture lovers can turn down a Knight of Faust, Die Flattermouse, or Madame Butterfly. So check the listings when you're in town and join the impeccably dressed throng. A neat piece of trivia is that Wagner was the music director of the Deutsches Theater, the foreigner to the National Op Opera, for a couple of years in the late 1830s. Number 11. Christ Cathedral the Cathedral for Riga's Orthodox Community is a stirring Neo-Byzantine building begun in 1876 when Latvia was part of the Russian Empire. You can't miss that ostentatious golden central dome. Tsar Alexander II donated the cathedral 12 bells, which required a separate belfry to be constructed. 
These bells were melted down at the start of the 1960 under Soviet occupation when the cathedral became the Republic House of Knowledge. At that time, the dome was used as a planetarium, while the crucifixes were pulled down and invaluable iconostasis was destroyed. Restoration work started at the end of the 1990 and continues today, helping the iconostasis and interior regain their previous splendor. Number 12. Cat House a building to be seen from the outside while you navigate Vekruga. The Cat House is a medieval-inspired Art Nouveau house on Maestro Street. It was drawn up by the architect Friedrich Scheffel for a wealthy Latvian merchant and is named for the copper cats that stand on the corner turrets. The story goes that these cats were designed with their backsides turned towards Riga's house of the Great Guild because of a grudge held by the Latvian owner for not being allowed in the mostly German Great Guild. After a court case, cats were turned back the right way, and the owner was admitted to the guilt. Number 13. Jermala In summer, you can catch a suburban train from Riga Central Station to the seaside resort of Jermala. Services depart every 30 minutes on the Riga Tukums line and take 30 minutes or so to reach their destination. You'll know why you made the trip when you arrive. Jermala's beach is 33 kilometers long and has pristine white quartzite sand, occasionally fronted by wooden Art Nouveau buildings. Six of the bathing areas at Jamala are awarded the blue flag each year and traced by mixed birch and pine forest. It's worth coming down outside the summer season as you can hunt for pieces of amber washed up on the beach in spring and autumn.